welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please consider hitting that red subscribe button. We would love to have you join the family here. If you're one of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. Hello, how is everybody doing? I feel like whenever I miss a day, I miss you guys so much, but I am back and today I'm going to share with you what I've been eating since going low carb. Yes, I did make the switch over to low carb and I will have a video coming out soon on how I actually feel about making that decision, but you will be able to see that shortly. But I will link a video up in the cards if you have not seen that video of me quitting keto and transitioning into low carb. So yes, it has been going very good and I must say we recently went on a trip to Calgary, which is about two and a half hours from here and it is a fairly big, big city and me and my dad and zoe went so my dad loves shopping he loves traveling he loves driving he loves all of it and now he is 81 so i tend to do most of the driving but he absolutely loves it right he has always been a shopper all the time i remember when we were little and we would go on trips and back then you didn't have cell phones or phones or anything like that so whenever we got to a new city we would always pull over at the <laughs> at the, the telephone right because you had telephones that were outside and we would pull over and we would look through the yellow pages to find the malls the shopping malls my dad loves shopping so much he doesn't buy a lot I don't know I guess he just has always just loved the whole shopping idea and of course my mom was a shopper and I was a shopper and uh, my sister was as well so it was great memories growing up and especially having a dad that loves shopping it was <laughs> the best so we went to Calgary the three of us for the day and we went to a couple malls that are in Calgary and the one good thing about that trip you guys I I'm telling you was such a relief of not thinking about keto and where I was gonna eat and what I was gonna eat because malls are really difficult, right? Like sometimes I do take my own food, but it's kind of like snacky food. It's not like I really take like, you know, a steak and warm it up or something like that. I take snacks with me while I was doing keto, but it's very, very difficult in a mall where there is fast food, right? There's probably 10 options for fast food and there's usually a couple restaurants in the malls that we went to anyways. So it was, it was life changing to not think about what I was going to be eating, where I was going to be getting my food. And not only that, my family, you know, really worrying about where we could eat because it, they kind of catered to me. And it was just nice not worrying about any of that. I, you know, could eat, obviously, I don't want to say anything, you know, within limits and still on the lower carb end. Obviously, it was not low carb that day, 100%, but it was just nice not having that stress. And I think for everybody, it's, it's, it's different stages. So for me, I have been doing keto for three or four years now. And my first year, even two years, that was not a problem for me. Going keto, going out to a restaurant, going you know, for, to the movies or doing whatever, it really wasn't difficult for me. I, I thought of options. I enjoyed having those options. And, but now it's, it's just different. I don't know how to explain it, but I think it just came to the reality of the rest of my life and we don't go we go to Cal the last time we went to Calgary was in March was seven months ago you know if I can't enjoy a day with my dad who is 81 years old you know he is my world you uh, if you've been watching my channel you know family is number one to me and you know I don't know how long he'll be alive for and you know to enjoy those moments and to not have to worry about me and what I'm going to eat and where I can eat was just life-changing and and it was it was just amazing it was just amazing so not to deter you from keto I I lived that life and I literally made it work I made it work at restaurants I make made it work at convenience stores I made it work camping and I enjoyed it but it's just different for me right now. So, um, but I wanted to just give that little spiel because we just came back probably a couple days ago and I just realized how, how liberating it actually was to go somewhere and to enjoy my day and not have like where I can eat and what I can eat on my mind for that whole entire day and just to enjoy the company and the day. But 
I wanted to say that first of all. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a full day of eating. I work from home, I'm a full-time YouTuber and a full-time Etsy owner, so I stay at home the majority of the day. So all of my meals I make at home, and relatively, we live out in the middle of nowhere. We live about a half hour from a city, so we cook pretty much all of our meals at home. So I'm going to be showing you today what I've been eating while going low carb. So I already have had my coffee already this morning. It is almost 12 o'clock and I already finished my coffee, but I did want to tell you what I've been making my coffee with lately. So lately, and I know some of you don't won't agree with this, but that's okay, you do you, I'll do me. <laughs> and I have been trying this zero sugar um, International Delight French Vanilla. Now I loved French Vanilla International Delight prior to going keto. I honest, I really love their creamers. So everybody is different, you do you, I'll do me. But I really like this and the zero sugar, it's actually not too bad tasting. I really find I don't put a lot of it in my coffee anymore. And the one tablespoon is one carb for these. So definitely not clean, but I'm just telling you what I've been doing. And I've also implemented, now that I'm drinking hot coffee again, I have been implementing back my collagen and I'm telling you between this and electrolytes they have literally saved my life in in one way or another and I'll tell you right now why the collagen has has saved my life I have been using perfect keto collagen way before I had a YouTube channel I have loved this product through and through from perfect keto so I absolutely love it now my story with the collagen because over the summer if you would remember i wasn't taking collagen because i was having iced coffees and this doesn't really mix very well with uh like ice water so i wasn't having any collagen and i think no collagen as well as a lot um like a lot of uh, other factors that I've, I've been going through as far as being premenopausal um, but I have noticed my hair has been falling out. And I have said that to you, I think in my last video or um, a couple weeks ago, of symptoms that I'm kind of experiencing going through these premenopausal symptoms. And I have started now implementing my collagen probably about a week now, and I've already noticed less hair falling out. I'm telling you, you, anybody, living on this earth needs to be taking collagen and electrolytes. So I take the perfect keto collagen and then my favorite electrolyte is the Redmond's Relight. I have both down in the description for you to have a look at. Um, and they definitely have very good sales during the month of November. So I also have a discount code for you guys down below, but I cannot say enough about those two items. And my, I got my hair trimmed about probably a few days ago and I went, she's actually a good friend of mine. And I said, Tina, I'm having so many symptoms for these premenopausal, you know, issues. And I told her about my hair and how it's been breaking. And so she cut off two inches. She had to cut off two inches. And you know, whether it's premenopausal symptoms, I don't know. Whether it's the lack of collagen, I would highly, it has happened to me before when I have slacked on taking my collagen, it has happened. So collagen helps your skin, hair, nails, makes it stronger, no breakage in the hair, no breaking of the nails. Highly, highly recommend that you please purchase collagen. If anything else, you need to have your collagen and electrolytes. So that is what I've been having for my coffee. I've literally just been adding a half a scoop of my Perfect Keto Collagen. I prefer the cinnamon toast. And then I've just been adding a little splash, probably about a tablespoon of the Zero Sugar International Delight in the French vanilla flavor. And that's it. That's all I put in my coffee. Um, and it's been really, really good. I don't know, lately I probably have about a cup a day. That's kind of always been my thing but I really have been enjoying that. So I had that for coffee this morning and let's get into what I'm going to make for my meal number one. So one thing that I have really been loving is smoothies. I love smoothies so much. It's really hard, you, can't, you can do it and I have made them. Um, keto smoothies, but now that I've gone low carb, it's really, really simple to make a smoothie. So let me show you what I've been doing. All right, so I have been making a big old smoothie and 
Right now, all I have in my fridge is 2% milk. I normally use coconut milk because I'm allergic to almond milk and I still like to keep things low carb like I mentioned, so I do use coconut milk. However, I'm all out of it, so I am going to be using a little bit of 2% and I'll be honest, I really don't measure all of the items that I put in here. If I were to guess, it was probably like about a quarter of a cup of milk of your choice. And then I've been adding protein to it. So this is the Equipped Chocolate Prime Protein. This is a very, very good protein powder. I also have a link and a discount code for this down below. And this is really, really good. It doesn't taste chalky or anything like that. It has really good flavor, it mixes well. I use a half of a scoop in my smoothie. And then what I also add is I add about a teaspoon of the flax seed meal. Now you don't need to add this. I just like adding extra fiber when I can. Um, so I add about a teaspoon of it to my smoothie and it gives it, I find it gives it a little, little flavor. And then I add my yogurt. As you guys know, now in Canada, we have two good yogurt and I am thrilled about that. So I do add um, two containers of yogurt. Now this is a really big smoothie. I like, I love smoothies because I can just kind of sip on it as I'm working. Um, I definitely will show you, I'm not just having a smoothie. I will be showing you um, what else I have, but I just wanted to show you how I am making my smoothies right now. And they have been so good, so good. So we're just gonna put those in there. Like I said, just use two of the smaller containers. And then I am going to add some frozen strawberries. So the, I prefer strawberries when I'm having a smoothie. Sometimes I have added a, like a half of, or a quarter, half a banana, um, cause I do have some of those frozen in the freezer as well because my girls really like smoothies. So I like to keep fruit, like frozen fruit in my freezer just for that reason. But I don't know, I'd probably say about like a handful, a handful of frozen strawberries. And then I also add about a half a cup of crushed ice. Now we have um, like an ice maker built into our fridge and we can either have cubed or crushed ice. So I always just add a half of a cup of crushed ice as well. So I just blend this up, see how the texture is and see if I need to add anything. So I'm just going to do that. This is all done and I'm gonna finish making all the rest of the food that I will be having for meal number one. But this is going to be my smoothie and I'm telling you, this is kind of like my dessert. This is what I have last after I have like my meal. <laughs> All right, this is meal number one. Now I have been eating more and I, I'm not gonna share like my, my macros or my calories because <laughs> I don't know, it just gets really judgmental on here and I'm trying to really lean away from getting all of the, you know, judgmental comments. So I'm just kind of keeping it very generalized but I do have two thick sliced pieces of bacon and then my dad actually, speaking of Speaking of my, my dad, because he did come with us to Calgary, he had found this um, keto bread and he was like, I thought you would like this. He's very, very thoughtful. So that is what I'm having today for my bread. So I have two slices of bread, two fried eggs, and then like I said, the thick sliced bacon, and then I'm having my big old smoothie. This is my favorite. This right here is my favorite part of the day. I have it every day and I like it because after my meal, then I sip on this. I usually I usually have it in a thermos, like a kind of a thermos cup so that it stays really, really cold. But this is my favorite part of the day. It's my breakfast when I get to have my smoothie. So this is going to be meal number one. So it is... It is about three o'clock now, and I usually do have a snack. Um, I don't stick to two meals a day anymore. I usually have three, um, two bigger meals, and then one snack. So today's snack, I'm going to be having a whole package <laughs> of carnivore crisps. I always pretty much eat the whole package unless I do have like a bigger package of the brisket. Um, this contains five servings, but then this one only contains two servings, but I do eat the whole bag. I do eat both servings. So this is a really, really good snack. I have always recommend carnivore crisps. You guys know that I love them very, very much. So I always have a discount code down below so that you can save on your first order of carnivore crisps, but they are 
so good. I especially love to take these hunting and Jimmy also will take them when he is working on that house and he's doing construction work because he rarely eats. Like he'll take a couple snacks with him for an eight, 10 hour day because whenever he eats, he just gets really tired. So he tends to just have light snacks. So this is pure protein. All that's in it is beef and salt. So it makes it for a really, really good snack. So make sure you check out the link that I have um, down below. But I think I'm going to have the whole bison one. This is really, really good. This is one of their new ones that they came out with. But my number one, number one flavor is the brisket. I absolutely love, love the beef brisket. So I am going to eat this whole entire container for uh, my snack. And then I will get back to you when it is supper time. All right, so for supper tonight, what I am going to be making for um, Jimmy and Zoe is going to be spaghetti and meat sauce. And I think I'm just going to make myself a couple of burgers with the hamburger meat. So as you guys know, we are hunters. So all that we eat is venison and elk. Um, well, elk is venison, but sorry, elk and deer. So we are hunters and um, we are hunting actually this year. However, of a few days we haven't been hunting because we have gotten so much snow and the area that we hunt at is actually down by the river and there's two spots if you would have watched one of my recent videos I will link it here we ended up getting stranded for over four hours <laughs> in one of the spots that we hunt however that spot isn't very big that we do have um, like a permission to hunt on that area and the bigger area that we hunt is down below down by a river and we can't get to that there is just way too much snow and Jimmy isn't ready to like, you know, kind of get us unstuck if we do get stuck. Cause then he has to shovel, he has to push us out. You know, he has to do all of those things. And we have gotten in the last week, we have gotten over uh, 40 or 50 centimeters of snow. We've had a lot of snow. I love it. I love winter time. I am not complaining and I'm actually not too worried about hunting this year. We do have tags that we do need to fill for whitetail doe and muley doe this year. However, we have already butchered uh, an elk for a friend and we ended up getting half of that elk. So we, we have a lot. We even still have probably a quarter of our freezer full of venison from last year. So I know that we'll be all right for meat for another whole year, but we do enjoy hunting. You know, it's a great way to provide for our family because we do only eat venison. We rarely buy beef. And if we do, it's usually beef steaks uh, because elk, even elk steak and um, deer steaks are very, very lean. Um, so it's kind of nice to have a nice um, fatty beef steak during the summer. So that is um, what we do for hunting and we enjoy it. And like I said, it's just, it's to provide for our family for the whole year. Um, so anyways, I'm going to make that for my family for supper and then I will show you what I will be having for my plate in the next clip. So that is the end of the video. I thought that you guys would want to see what I'm eating on a low carb lifestyle. It is fairly similar to what I was eating, just obviously adding a little bit more carbs. You know, low carb is kind of like a, a big span. You know, some people say 30 carbs, 50 carbs, but I try to stick between like 40 and 50 carbs right now. And I know for some of you that's, that's too much. And I understand that I was eating less than 20 for years, but I just feel now it's a little, it's, it's time for a change for me. And, um, it definitely is helping me mentally as well. And that's kind of what I stick to. I stick between 40 and 50 grams of carbs per day. And some days are really hard to even get that many carbs because I am so cautious of carbs now because I've been doing keto for so long um, but it's really really a learning process so I'm going to be sharing with you um, what I am eating on low carb just so that you guys can get some idea just in case the keto isn't working for you anymore and you want to try something different so I thank you all for being here thank you so much for watching me I really really do appreciate you guys know are my friends around here please make sure that you haven't already make sure you hit that red subscribe button as well as make sure you hit that notification button so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.